Hey, what's this? You know, around two months ago, I installed Windows 7. But recently, uh, that got me thinking. Since I already installed Windows 7, how about Windows Vista? So yeah, today we're going to be installing Windows Vista in 2024. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go we're on the screen. So this is going to be our installation media of Windows Vista. And we're going to be installing it on the good old Aspire X1430. Anyway, let's plug in the drive, turn it on and spam that F12 key. I just hit the camera, but yeah, spam the F12 key. Oh, that's probably enough. So now we are going to change the input on my monitor to VGA so that it can actually, you know, display. And there we go. Let's boot into the UEFI SanDisk. And okay, here we go. We're in Ventoy. So let's boot up Windows Vista, normal mode. And Windows is loading files. Here we go, we're in the installer. So, language, English, time and currency format, UK, and yeah, that all looks good. Next, install now. Please wait. All right. Oh, here we go. Um, product key, no thank you. All right, here we go. So let's pick Windows Vista Ultimate. And yes, I've selected the additional windows that I purchased, even though I did not purchase this. Next. Next. Oh, there we go. Yes, I accept the license and custom. Custom. Okay, windows cannot be installed to the hard disk space. Windows must be installed to a partition formatted as NTFS. Well, that makes sense because this is the XT4. So let's press Shift F10. And load disk part. List this. Yup. Cell this zero. Clean. Disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. All right. Let's refresh that. Disk zero unallocated. Next. Oh, Windows requires a valid system volume for installation to continue. There is enough space on disk zero for a system volume to be created. Click OK to create the system volume and to continue installing or click cancel to return. OK. I have not seen that message before. But anyway, it's installing now. So I'm going to let it do its thing and I'll be back when it's done. Bye. experience that took absolutely forever but anyway keyboard type a username whale flip caps lock got turned on whale and uh let's go the cat next whale pc let's just name it aspire i cannot type right now x1430 and let's pick that background. Next, uh, ask me later. Next, thank you, start. Now let's wait for the thing to do its thing. I've already been waiting for such a long time. resolution is horrible and look at that that's horrible but we got Vista completely running on this computer but we still got to install drivers and close the sidebar 
So we're going to, um, where is my USB stick? All right, these are Windows 7 drivers. I don't think they'll work, but it's good to try. This is the highest we can get without graphics drivers that is and yeah I think that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like if you have some say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye all right good news I managed to get graphics drivers up and running. Yes, this is in full 1080p. And now we're gonna see if I can get Aero working. Oh, it is an option. Let's click it, apply, and... Oh my gosh! It's working! We got Aero working! Now that was my goal all along, to get Windows Aero working on Vista. So yeah guys, I'm calling this episode a win. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!